Now, parents, if you have a child with epilepsy, you can now expect your child's school to train all employees on responding to seizures. Governor McMaster held a ceremonial bill signing for the Seizure Safe School Act. Today, News 19, Corey Thompson has more. The bill requires that all school personnel be trained, uh, whether it's virtually, uh, online or in person, but they have to be trained in seizure recognition, how to respond, and seizure first aid. Under the new law, all school districts are required to set up their own seizure training program. The program will teach basic knowledge about epilepsy and its impact on student learning, and it must be taught by someone qualified and trained in seizure first aid. Karen Marie is the founder of South Carolina Advocates for Epilepsy. She says there are different kinds of seizures and symptoms vary. We teach them what to look for and then how to respond to that and then to provide basic seizure first aid until someone such as the, the nurse or a designated person is able to get there, whether that's EMS, you know, but can get there to offer you know, medical assistance. One parent who pushed for the new law is Amanda Campbell. Her daughter Raylan was diagnosed and had her first seizure in kindergarten. This is when she found out that South Carolina schools did not have seizure training. So she went to her House of Representatives and got the ball rolling. She says it was a long process. I'm just glad it's over with and that we can finally get some of these students and that we know that they'll be safe at school if something was to happen. That we know that the teachers are trained and they know what to do. I'm, I'm proud that it's happened and I'm proud that I was actually a part of it. You can go to scepilepsy.org to sign up for training. The training certificate will be good for two years. Corey Thompson, News 19 WLTX. And school districts have until July 1st of next year to have a plan on how they will implement this program.